Hello, collective. Before I hop into your love messages, I'm just going to take a moment to clear your energy, clearing away all negative vibes, cutting the cords from all those who you don't want holding on to you. And let's get into it. If you're new here, I'm Earth Angel 111. Thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome. So yeah, let's see what comes out. This could be from the person on your mind, person you're dating, person you're married to, person you walked away from. Just keep in mind they are love messages. First one out says, I get super jealous when I see you talking to others. Okay, so whoever you're dealing with, if this person knows you have many people that are interested in you, forming a relationship with you, or a lot of people find you attractive and flirt with you, this person is admitting they get extremely jealous, okay? If they notice you online flirting and talking to other people, they get extremely jealous. This could be a professional athlete. You could be as well. Take it out, resonates. Next one says, I love you to the moon and back. So this person feels like they have a deep love for you. And the more they get to know you, the more they're falling for you. It says, you are the best thing that ever happened to me. So yeah, whoever you're dealing with feels like you are incredible. Okay, and also with that first card coming out being jealousy, good thing I just cleared y'all's energy, okay? Because maybe you guys do get a lot of attention and this person can really feel it. They can just pick up on it, okay? Maybe you do something online for a uh, business. For others of you, you may just be looking good, okay? And your person knows it and people around you know it too. Next one says, do you feel the same as I do? I want to grow old with you. So your person in particular has this deep bond for you. They want to spend all the holidays with you and more, okay? Your person really be feeling some type of way when it comes to you guys. So for some of you, you may be already committed to this person. For others of you, you may just have met this person. This person could drive a truck. Ooh, fitness instructor. Okay, so this person could be a professional athlete or a fitness instructor. Or you could be. Their ego got in the way. So your person could have really allowed their ego to get in the way based on them noticing you get all this attention from others. I feel like you're dealing with someone who doesn't like to see you being kind to other people in like maybe they have this insecurity they need to work on themselves. Wow, someone who loves sports, y'all, this person is coming through. You're definitely dealing with an athlete, okay? I've never had so many messages about fitness, sports. It's almost like they've infiltrated the reading to be like collective. I want you. Next one says, I have loved you since the first time I saw you. I knew then you were going to be a very important part of my life from that day forward. So your person has this deep love for you, this knowing of what the connection is. I feel like for some of you, this person could really keep tabs on you. You may not know this. They could drive a truck around your neighborhood, around your workplace. For others of you, this person is someone who's just showing up where you are. With fitness instructor too, maybe they know you have a fitness instructor in your life. They could be jealous about that says, if only you knew how much these little moments with you matter to me. So your person feels like no matter how big of a moment it is, whether you're just grabbing coffee, saying hello, talking, communicating, spending time together, being intimate together, wherever your connection's at, your person feels like it's the little moments that mean the most. And I feel like it's the little moments that are allowing them to really get to know you on a deeper level. So that's what they love the most about you says, I had a dream about you recently. Do you ever dream of me? So your person dreams about you often, especially if you two live at a distance from each other. They want you to forgive them came out. So your person wants your forgiveness for something. I feel like some of you guys, y'all, they could have picked someone else or they could have made you feel as though you weren't enough for them. OK, and this person is now wanting your forgiveness. They're starting to realize, too, if you pull back your energy in any type of way, they could have been wrong for something they said or a lack of words they didn't say towards you. I feel like you're dealing with someone who, if they are an athlete, okay, they receive a lot of attention. So they don't always, I don't want to say they don't value it, but they may not be very expressive when they do towards certain people because they expect to receive that attention over and over. And for some of you with their ego got in the way, you may have really showed them you're not about the games, okay? And so this person was quite thoroughly impressed with the way that you handled this situation. But yeah, they could feel like they are apologizing for something. 
This is someone who's close to you, okay? They haven't fully revealed how much they have feelings for you. They could really just keep tabs on you for a lot of you guys and not fully, like, express how they feel. It's almost like you're their fantasy, like, in a fantasy world, okay? All their dreams would come true and the two of you would be together, but then reality hits and they're so busy, busy, and maybe they haven't ever given you the commitment that they know you desire. Next one says, would you answer if I called? I want to talk. So whoever you're dealing with really wants to get to know you on a deeper level. They want some type of long-term commitment or at least to have some fat, casual fun. This person could also feel like you're holding on to the past, either a past relationship or something that they did to you or didn't do, okay? So if your person was very non-committal before, they could feel like you're upset with them for that. And they're like, can you just let it go and move on? Um, because remember too, your person's still healing and learning at the same time that you are collective. So nobody's perfect. And truly, when you love someone, you're able to forgive them and move forward, okay? So... Yeah, for a lot of you, your person's like at this moment in time, do you forgive them for the past for either being um, not as confrontive or forward with their feelings as possibly you are? And for others of you, possibly just like playing games with you or like if you have someone else, okay, they could think that as well. They could think that you're still hung up on your past relationship in some type of way. says I want to be much more than friends so whoever you're dealing with maybe they came off across as wanting to be friends with you at first acquaintances but they want you to know they want much more than that they see you as someone that they could really date and have a fun time with <laughs> if you catch my drift um for most of you I don't see that this person is expressive about being long term yet but they want to just get to know you and have fun with you and appreciate each other's company most importantly, your person feels like you'd be a great time, like someone to have a lot of fun with. Healing. Beautiful. So yeah, your person really feels like they're healing from their past through the connection with you. And most importantly, they want to heal you from your past. So they feel like if you're holding on to any hurt or negativity, like it's time to let it go. It's time to open up more. It's time to let them in. And more importantly, it's time to show them how much you care about them. Two final messages. It says, I'm broken without you in my life. Can I come home? So they could have walked away or you could have. They want to come back and ring shopping, y'all. Your person could want to get you a promise ring, engagement ring, matching rings. Something to show you how much they care, though, okay? So go ahead, like the video, subscribe. Until next time, thank you.